have a break. So, we hadn't been vlogging just a whole lot. Just had a lot of life. And one thing we really made a pact to do from the get-go was we keep everything positive. And so when we've had some struggles, we're careful to not bring them to you. So tell us what y'all know good. Some of the words of my daddy when he calls. He says, what you know good. So tell us what you know good. We want to hear some good news. And we've just, we've really been in a challenging, challenging season of life. And I know that we found many of you in that season. I'm actually headed to get my hair done, y'all. And just so many changes. And I really, really struggle with change. It's a flaw of mine. I, I always say I'm loyal. I'm loyal to a fault. I won't make changes when changes need to happen because sometimes I would like things to just be the way they were versus figuring out a new way. So yeah, I think my biggest struggle with all of this has been, and you may really notice this if you've watched our vlog for very long, is I really love my life and I was very happy and it's so interesting that my word this year is happiness I'm like gosh darn, darn it <laughs> why did God put that word on my heart because I always know it's the word I'll be challenged in so I've really had to stay in the word and I've struggled with change. That's just bottom line. So I don't want to get anybody else down. I'm picking myself up day in, day out and trying to roll with change as much as I know how. That's what you got to do, right? So we got to embrace it. Even when it makes us feel emotional. So, ball games are back. That's a positive. Focusing on the positive. I'm about to. This good friend of mine is who really encouraged Waverly to step out and do this hair school while she had all this time to do stuff. She had more time than she's ever had. I don't know if y'all watched that vlog, but um, this is a dear, dear friend of mine. I've been friends with her and her family for 20 years. So I'm just, anybody that encourages your kids and champions your children, they're just good people, you know? So, and she's teaching Wave to do my hair. She's like, oh, Wave's gonna be able to do your hair so easy. So, which is also encouraging. You know, she's not- In 10 miles, me. take exit 67, Fort Ridge Road and FM 740. So she's very encouraging of Wave's journey and knows there's plenty of people out in the world <laughs> not going to be our only client. So, I'm going to stop and get some fuel and go get my hair done. So, y'all come with me today. The tears are just, y'all, I'm, I'm not really emotional. It takes a lot for me Turn to right be. Turn right onto East I-30 oh, Frontage shoot. Road. It takes a lot for me to be emotional. So just know I'm going through a lot. That's just, it's that diesel. We don't want diesel. So I love y'all. I appreciate all y'all's love and comments and support. And God is good. We may struggle with the challenges. I do. But I know God's still on the throne. That's what I know. Y'all have an awesome day. I'll see y'all when I get there. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. Is it here? Happy, Father. Happy yeah. Father's Day. You need to tell them what we're doing. We're doing a beer walk. Beer walk. See? Gold Star. Look at, our, look at our. Look what they did. You got. In Dallas. Get a Gold Star. They have necklace, pretzel necklaces. 
And so. we're with one of the Gold Star owners today. Air Bear. Air Bear. He treated us to this. It's Happy real cool. Father's Day. Oh, that's, where those, that's where those boots are at. Just tell us where to go. We'll do it. want to mark off like where we go, where we've gone. Good time. I guess. Whatever mom tells me. <laughs> you you don't you don't have a cheerful heart about doing something for Father's Day? I do, but mom should be making food. No, you need to be making it too. You what happens dad. what happens if something happened to me and mom and then you gotta cook for yourself? I just make spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> well that'd be awful. You never have bacon again? Or eggs? Or, um, or cinnamon rolls? Lot, or tasted wait. Oh, if we had cheese and tortillas, I would eat those all day. Would you know how to make them? Yes. You would? You, just, you put the cheese in it and then cook it. Right. Or uh, I don't know how long. See, you're learning. We want to do this for Daddy because we love him, and Daddy loves breakfast. Am I a breakfast maker? No. 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 Ask it. Hey, Kimberly, will you make pancakes? <laughs> that is the one thing I'm terrible at. I don't know why. I remember that time I tried. Yeah. So bad. They, you made them real thick, remember? Yeah, they were terrible. And they had still had... They were just awful. There was nothing good about them. <sighs> so, Father's Day breakfast. Yes, they cracked the eggs, so if there's a few shells in here. No, don't know. You got us to cook. Here, take our three pictures. Oh, look. Every morning, on and on, we got a beautiful story. Oh, I need to take it in. What you doing, babe? I'm hanging your life. That's what he does. Hey, y'all. Yeah. So, what you doing, babe? Well, I'm installing a new light. He's the best. Memphis in the background. Memphis I see ya. The Here's Memphis. Oh. And there's Maverick. And then here's Mav Man. 
got lots going on, y'all. And a gorgeous sunset. Hey, C6. Yeah. Bam. I'm Maverick's too. tired of Memphis. Yeah, I want to leave. <laughs> he needs need a little to break. Somewhere. He wants to go see his sister. Yeah, he's, without Memphis. They're five years apart, so. He's real annoying. Like, <laughs> real annoying. He's a sweetie. You know he is. Here's a Dad. Sweetie. Yeah, real sweet. He is sweet. He loves you, math man. Everything I do is just terrible to him. Well, that's because you agitate him. Yeah, because he's a little turd. Um, we don't want the C6 fam hearing cuss words. That's <laughs> If that's a cuss word, then I'm a sailor. <laughs> that's a good one. Why are you so handsome? You are the most handsome 12 year old I've ever seen. You're just gorgeous. Don't y'all think so, C6 fam? Give Mav some love in the Bug comments. Just blew up my nose. That happened to me one time when we were four wheeling in Costa Rica. Do you remember? No, I do. <laughs> it did. Hey, C6 fam, 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 fam. It's been a bit, but we are happy to be back. We were just kind of processing through life. I don't know if y'all have had to do that a little bit through COVID-19. It's just been a little bit of a weapon, y'all. And we did promise to always keep it real. And we've just kind of had a season of kind of just going through a lot of changes and having to refigure our life out a little bit. Now, remember my great aunt, we lost her, well, I guess two years ago. Yeah, I guess it's been two years. She, for a year and a half, I don't know. She always said, don't get too used to life because the minute you've got it figured out, it's going to change. <laughs> so, some, you know, some things are so good, you know, and there's been so many blessings in the storm, so many rainbows, and we're focusing on those. I just honestly, I'm going to tell y'all this, I really struggle with change. And I especially struggle with it when I like the way things are. So really was settled into a season of I love my life. And it's my life is looking different at this time. And I've got to learn to love this too. So I am. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all some of the good things. Walker and Waverly both have houses. They live three minutes apart. And... We, now that they're really both adults, true adults, living on their own, paying their own bills, not in college, we are, which Waverly's in here school, but it's a little different. Um, I mean, she has a business and pays for everything herself. We are in a new season with them where it's really just fun. You know, I mourned them growing up because I'll be honest, I loved having teenagers. I loved the busy. I loved all my children in my house. But now that they are adults and we are doing adult things with them, I am loving, loving this season that we're in for sure. So that has been a blessing. They did, they got us tickets for a beer walk in downtown McKinney. You're gonna see that on this vlog. We did that for Father's Day. It was so much fun. The little boys didn't get to go, but it was a blast. It was like shopping in these little boutiques and they had all these different craft beers that we got to try. Some of them were good, some of them weren't for us. Um, but it was fun. It was so much fun. And then they took us to dinner at Del Frisco's um, for Shay's Father's Day. I mean, they just go over above and beyond. And I mean, it was just a great day, a grand time. So, just, it's a great season. We're getting ready for a 4th of July party, which is going to be awesome. And we're just having some of our closest 
family and friends out. It's a very small group, very small group. Um, to celebrate awesome nation. So I'm just focused on the rainbows. We're playing baseball. Maverick, oh my gosh, had a stellar game last night. Just got us good. I'm headed, it's Fancy Friday. I'm headed to see my man, my mighty man. And he left. He got up at five and had to be on a job. He's been installing a lot of roofs, which is a great thing. I mean, it's, it's blessings. You know, I'm just, I was a little spoiled, I think, to, you think you got all your ducks in a row. You've got your savings. You've got your investments. You've got your income. And Shay and I kind of felt like we had it together. And, you know, I think God just always is showing us he's in control and it's not us. So it was challenging to have the rug pulled out from under us, but it caused us to do some different things and kind of get back out there and hustle a little more than what we normally do. And I think that it's a good thing. You know, it's been hard. It's just been a hard adjustment, but it's good. I mean, it's just, it's mainly just figuring it out, figuring out how we navigate this new season. And it's not that there's any bad. I think everything is how you look at it. You can sit and dwell on what all you've lost or, you know, that's what the enemy wants us to do. But when we choose to see the great things that are coming and the blessings that God is continuing, to bestow on us, you know, it, it's it's all going to be okay. There's no financial situation. There's no loss that we're going to go through that we don't know. God has something great on the other side of the heartache. That's I mean, we just believe that, and it helps us, I think, walk through hard things and not just get so fixated on the one or 20, I should say, negative bad things that have happened. So we're just walking it out. We're walking it out with y'all. We love y'all. Positive is. We're still breathing. We are well and able to roll those sleeves up, go to work, and we live somewhere where we can do that. So that's a blessing, right? So I love y'all. And we just hope to find y'all all well. We're all well. Not one sickness has touched our body. In Jesus' name, we're going to keep claiming that. Had your protection. Had your protection over y'all. Y'all prayer works. 